Yo, what's up, guys? Oh, I'm just coming down with some DMT. And I want to first start off by saying, one of my last videos. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got a fucking sick and sweet one. They glued because he has a fucking guy at the source. Babies out. Oh yeah. Next thing, I need a gaming computer. But I'm part way there. I would have been closer if I didn't fucking have my wallet stolen today. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna say that um, in one of my last videos, I didn't necessarily badmouth my friend. Uh, but I did log some criticisms out of our criticisms. I do feel are valid still, but um. In the interest of preserving um, uh, a familial, a, like true fam family, like, or not blood family, not literally speaking, but someone who I feel is family to me, who I love very much, and who has supported me, and I've supported her, and in the interest of our friendship, I. I'm just going to recant that. You know, I just think it's the, uh... I may not agree with that, all of it, but... I'm just gonna... Not to fucking sound all holier than that or anything, but I'm gonna try to take the high road here. Anyways, wallet was stolen today. So... 75 bucks that I made. Not a gun. But, um, good things happen to bad people, I guess. But I guess, hey man. I want to read you something. This will sum it up quite well. Oh, I feel right fucking. Uh, I almost want to cry, I swear. Okay. Okay, so. Real talk. I gotta say my trust in people is depleting at an alarming rate and for just cause. My capacity for trust in the decency of others is just fizzling out like a balloon lanced again and again with each sharp edge being a double-faced ruse broken promise and or obligation or song of unfounded gossip. Like any compressed receptacle, the more punctured it is, the faster it drains and the lower down it descends. I know. What was me, right? Plus, my faith in humanity was bad before I was cut down. Man. Sorry, this is disgusting. Um, I have to say that <laughs> I don't see many, if any, examples of humanity at large in any way, shape, or form ever being able to remotely rectify a small iota of the damage we've done to not just ourselves, but others, and more importantly, the planet. I don't mean to wax pessimistically, or let's be real, harp with, like, some doomer croonings, but at the risk of self-grandizing, which I'm not, as I hate myself more than anyone else, and I'm very much part of the problem. I try not to be. I actually go out of my way to try and, you know, like, 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 actually recycle things and, like, not just fucking throw them in the bin where they cause more fucking issues than, or more CO2 than it's worth. Um, like, and, you know, I garden and shit like that, you know, I, I, I try so hard, I try so hard to fucking get back, and I just, yeah. <laughs> I just care about people, man, like, I don't know why. You just, I just trust so much, like, I have terrible fucking trust issues, I have terrible trust issues, you know, from, <sighs> My ex is um, killing herself after, um, after we broke up, and it turned out my buddy at the time was actually 
physically abusing her. She was she was already like very very. She had a lot of stuff going on, but still that you know um, and finding out that you know she was fucking him. That's why we broke up. Um, being cheated on sucks, dude. I don't know why she was fucking him because we'd go for like six hours at a time. We were fucking banging her on back then. But at that time, she would be like, fucking like, after six hours, I'd be like, I'm sore. Can I just go to bed? You're not gonna fucking come at this point. Anyway, it's not to be too fucking crass, but. And then, you know, I had my ex fucking the manic one dog spray me, stab me. I. Last week, you know, robbed, hatchets pulled on me, I've had knives pulled on me, I've had knives used on me, I've bear spray. You know, it's, I, I would say I'm pessimistic by default, but that's already obvious because of my neuro uh, chemical imbalance, but I'm pessimistic by default because of my experiences. That may make me biased, but I'm open to seeing the good. I just don't. I'm sorry. You guys, you guys fucking, uh, like, seriously. Like, I wish, I wish I could express how much I appreciate the support you people show me. I really fucking do. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, let me, let me finish this up for you. So, um, yeah, yeah, so plus, you know, my faith in my humanity is bad before, but god damn man, I gotta say that I don't see many, if any, examples of humanity at large in any way, shape, or form ever being even remotely even able to uh, rectify a small iota of the damage we've done to not just ourselves, but others, and more importantly, the planet. Don't mean to wax pessimistically. Or let's be real, harp with doomer croonings, but at the risk of self-aggrandizing, which I'm not, as I hate myself more than anyone else. True. Sad, true. Uh, and I'm very much part of the problem. I feel like I'm one of the few who cares about honoring the obligations I swear to for others I care about. And I can steal all my friends even as a junkie. Like... This is why my fucking boss trusts me. I'm the only person he's trusted. Because he's been fucked over so much. Like, part of my mission on this planet is to show that there are some decent people out there, you know? We are not script, but um, anyways. Yeah, so I feel like one of the few who cares about honoring the obligations I swear to for others I care about. Try to be as honest as possible, yes, to the point of TMI, you guys know that. But hey, those are my dirty secrets, so if they are out in the open, that dirty laundry isn't something people can go and shit all over with cruelty. <laughs> you call me fucking crazy, but I believe in showing earnest and fair gratitude. Giving back, doing things for the benefit of others rather than just myself. I'm not perfect at all, I'm not saying that, but I still gotta eat, you dick. And I also fail to see the, see the merit in deceiving people. Well, people, period, but especially those who gave me an opportunity, were real with me, were homies, expressed their vulnerabilities, and tell with me, and well, are good people. But those types seem to be going extinct. Maybe I've just had a few bad years, but like, yeah, I'm stinging internally from these nettles of worry. You know, these nails of worry for what stupid, deadly things humans will do next. Just bustling around in my belly. And for the record, I'm no damn saying, as I said, but I spent years trying to find how I can enhance the lives of others. I believe that's why I'm here. Not that I'm God's gift to the fucking earth or anything. Um, you know, obviously. I know better than anyone else. I'm probably worse than everyone else. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I want to enhance the lives of others, not that I necessarily have anything special to offer or anything, but I mean, yeah, people's priorities these days don't seem to include being a supportive homie 
And I can list several examples. Anyways, I'll shut up now. Just sinking into a black and white vortex leading to a world of pure apathy. Don't mind me. And I added a little bit more to that. This is probably the most honest and from the heart consternation I've expressed, but I doubt anyone will even care <laughs> to read it. Whatever, it's fine, we're on the sinking ship of a polluted planet going nowhere but down altogether. Smiley face emoji. See, I don't take social media seriously, if that's not obvious. Yeah, so, um, it's been a rough day from now. It's been a rough day. You know, like, I lost a lot in my wallet. That was my grandfather's wallet, too. It's the last thing I had that he gave me. But, yeah, my face still looks fucking wonderful, doesn't it? And I'm fucking smoking cigarettes now. Yeah. Fucking smoking all day. Yeah, anyways, um, I'll tell you about the DMT trip in the next one, because I just had a very fucking intense one. I thought, holy shit, I'm still dilated. Ow. Like, I still have some open eye visuals, but, like, nothing like what I see. But it's interesting, because I actually think I blacked out for most of the first little bit, and then I did another little hoot, and I held it in as long as I could. A little hoot, pretty big hoot. And, um, I came back to me, so I'll tell you about that in Uno Momento. So please, please, dude, I'm fucking hurting right now, man. Literally, physically, it's overwhelmed with pain, man. It's, it's not even funny, um, and I can see this is getting bad because I'm having to take stupid amounts of Xanax every day. Ketamine, very, very, very strong ketamine, just. Barely a switch of pain. It's concerning. It's very concerning. Trust me. I know. Anyone knows? I know. Anyways, at least I'm working the next three days, so. Yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, in other news, um. Fuckface, who, uh. Uh, ratted us out and set those guys up to rob us. Um, so instead of just peacefully walking away when we called him out on stealing my boss's phone, um, he, uh, like, uh, he said after, in response to that, just have the phone. And then he sent a message out to people saying, Oh, uh, uh we stopped dealing with this park because they sell fentanyl in their weed. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to go off like mentally stable people. I am mentally stable, uh, not that kind. But they did say I had autism for a long time. Um, uh, not autism that would be that bad. I've I've met people with autism that bad. Um, but um, so yeah, I'm not trying to off them. Sorry, it's just stupid. It's a stupid thing to say. Um, and uh, I actually called him up today, and I was like, dude. Like, like, I put on a fake accent, I was like, uh, is this so-and-so from so-and-so? See, so, yeah, I'm even gonna take the courtesy of not saying his name. Alright, nice. Um, but I mean, if you live in Vancouver, and, um, you ever bought a cheap ounce of weed that didn't get you high, acid that didn't get you high, or mushrooms that were dry as a bone and didn't get you high, you probably know who I'm talking about. He's got a lot of enemies. Um, but I called him up this morning, and I'm not the most intimidating guy on the planet, that's for sure. But I was like, dude, I got flipped on my face yesterday because of you. I think, uh, now it's my turn to flip you on your face. And, uh, he was just like, uh, 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 fuck you, buddy. But yeah, no, like, seriously. For one, um, uh, uh, there are so many reasons why I spray fentanyl or weed with fentanyl it makes just no sense whatsoever. Um, a large reason is um, cost. That'd be like 
thousands of dollars for like an ounce of weed, um, at least. Um, for two, I was on Suboxone when I first started going to my boss, so why didn't I go into precipitated withdrawal every time I fucking smoked a joint? I, I, when I first met him, I bought an ounce off him every week. No precipitated withdrawal. It's just pernicious lies. And, um, it sucks because, um, you know, everyone who knows us, they support us, like, all the way. Even the people who clean the park come and hang out with us and bitch about how much of a mess the other guys make. Because we are the only ones who leave it better than when we came in. Like, like, seriously, we're the like, we care about our environment, even though it's a shitty environment. Um, but, uh, yeah, in any case, um, yeah, it's just, it's been hard, man. Especially the whole Lucas thing. Like, I'm, I, I think I'm this far from, like, being physically addicted to something, yeah. It's just so painful. So painful. Like, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Like, oh God. how do I describe it? Like cold ice pick going up and down my back like that. And then I'm just jabbing into my legs. Like the, the visual image I get when um, I feel the sciatica, especially, is um, I remember this uh, East Indian woman who uh, didn't have access to like, good medicine. So she went to a doctor, um, and the doctor, um, he uh, uh, gave, or he uh, delivered her child. But left the forceps inside her. The rest of her life, she had excruciating pain. Turned out the forceps were digging into her insides. That's how it feels. Again, woe was me, right? But I mean, part of why I'm doing this channel is therapy. You know, I. Uh, this is why I hold this in. Does not. So thank you. Thank you for bearing with me. And please, yeah, just. I'm not gonna ask you guys for money, I'm not gonna stoop to that fucking level. I'm just gonna ask you. Sub. You know, just have a discussion, man. So if I can talk to you, that distraction helps the pain. You know, um, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, just, you know, likes are good too, I really appreciate that. <coughs> this is a fucking awesome speaker, I love it. <coughs> God damn it, Fuck, it's so hard, I'm almost... Um, but yeah, I know, um... Got a lot of, uh, prospects coming down the pipeline, though. A lot. I won't get into it, but... We're gonna be doing pretty well soon. Um, but, you know, our aim is always, always how we help people. And on that note... You're probably sick of hearing me fucking, you know, bitch and moan about this and that, so I will tell you about the DMT trip. Sign